All right, welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies. Um, so just got back through the uh from the trial, got me some coke, and uh, ready to do this. And uh, I don't, I think I'm just gonna record uh investigation. We'll see how short it is. That's what I should say. So let's try to get this done as fast as possible. If I can get it done fast enough, like maybe an hour or something, without my voice being too bad, I will uh, keep going and try to finish this up. So, yeah, let's keep going. Having a yokai testify in court is unprecedented, unpre to say the least. I am Tenmataro, the yokai you seek. How could such a straight-laced man like Mr. Tenma suddenly become a demon? Yeah, it's strange. Even worse, Prosecutor Blackwell is playing along. <sighs> I can't even think straight anymore. I need to go out for a run. See you in a bit. What? Wait! What about the... Investigation? Back! Eek! Whoa, whoa. Trissy, welcome back. Oh, you're in a stage outfit. Back from work? Yep! I really nailed this new magic trick I've been working on! I also heard about those tricks that were conjured up in court earlier today. You know, the demon out of nowhere trick and Polly's tightrope style defense trick! I was seriously considering a disappearing act of my own after all that craziness. Anyway, our next trick is to find a suspect other than the mayor. I know the killer must have used the air duct to end the, their escape. And whoever did that was the Tinmatara and that Mr. Felch and Jinxie saw. Right. Maybe there's some evidence in the air duct. I still think, like, I haven't said who I think it is, but I think it's obvious... I... wasn't it... Like, of course it's gotta be him, but at the same... Yeah, 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 they even had a... It's been a while, but I remember seeing a, uh... The scene or whatever at the beginning of the game. Yeah, okay. The real fight starts right now. Hey, before you go, let me make the evidence you no longer need disappear. Three, two, one! Ta-da! Um, it's still there. I mean, I guess that helps. Since it'll make it, it'll deduce my, uh, my, uh, pickings in the court. <laughs> Unnecessary evidence has disappeared into Trucy's magic panties. Lovely. Okay, so yeah, we've got a lot less stuff. Well, maybe not a lot, but we got pretty much a page of stuff out of the way. I wonder where all that stuff goes. Okay, let's get over to the scene of the crime. Vominos, Apollo! Vominos! Okay. Yum. <clears throat> Detective Fulbright, mind if we search the air duct? Well, since you really are on the side of justice, I suppose I can let you. Mm. Plus, my own sense of justice has been called into doubt, so... Wonder if he's been like this ever since the trial. Well, his sense of justice has been beaten to a pulp, thanks to Mr. Justice. <laughs> It'll probably take a while for him to recover. I sort of feel bad for him, but we have work to do. Let's go get the evidence we need. The air duct is the key. We know the Tenma Taro impersonator used it to make an escape. 
After murdering the alderman, the killer left the fox chamber through the hallway door. Then, after locking the door from the outside, the killer entered the duct in the hallway. I thought it said halfway. Finally, the killer dropped the key into the fox chamber through the air vent here. Then went back through the duct and fled the manor. And that is when Jinxie saw. That's how the illusion of no one entering or leaving the locked room was created. And that's when uh, Jinxie saw, yeah, the killer. If the killer passed through the air duct, maybe we'll find some evidence there. Yeah, maybe some black feathers or something like that. Well, here's our vent. It's awfully high up. Don't worry, I brought a stepladder. Happy hunting. Okay. How nice of her to volunteer me for the job. Whoa, it's pitch black in here. Well, here goes nothing. There's a thick layer of dust in here! <laughs> I don't... get it. Find anything? Yikes! Apollo, what happened? You're covered in dust! Yeah, dust. Lots of dust. So what'd you find? You know how dust collects... Dust collects on something when nobody uses it for a long time? Yeah, as soon as he said dust, that was the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah, like Mr. Wright's desk back at the office. <laughs> right. You think it'd be possible to crawl over that sort of dust without leaving a trail? I seriously doubt it. Wait, you're not suggesting... No one's gone through that duck lately? Kind of looks that way. And if it's true, Mayor Tinma is going to be fingered as the killer. But 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 If we don't turn things around quickly... INJUSTICE WE TRUST! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Justice, but it seems your justice was not the most just after all. It is my sense of justice that has prevailed. Ah! Detective Fulbright sure seems chipper all of a sudden. Ah! Uh, I'm back to my old devastated self. Aw, oh, come on! Where's that never-say-die spirit? Bring it on, Mr. Lawyer Man! Bring it on! Let me suffer in peace. Ha 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 ha! Justice prevails once more! <laughs> it's not over yet, and besides... Kicking someone when they're down is what bad guys do. We didn't kick you. Ah! Are you calling me a, a a bad guy? Me? Bobby Fulbright, champion of justice? Then how about some information on the investigation? We need some help here. Information about the investigation? All right. But I won't have you calling me a bad guy ever again! Understood? We did it, Apollo! Yeah, but how long can we keep this up? Um... So, yeah, you see this? <laughs> you see this? 
So this is my attorney's badge. That means tell me your information now. No, no! Present it with more confidence and conviction! Like this! Injustice we trust! Okay, um, how's this? Apollo Justice! Attorney at law! Here comes justice! That was amazing! But you know what they say. Practice makes perfect. Let's see you do it ten more times! Okay, I'll try my best! Um, Apollo? What are you doing? Ack! How'd he talk me into this? <laughs> okay, let's... En enough screwing around. <laughs> I can't believe Prosecutor Blackwill would stoop that low. I mean, to pinning the blame on a yokai... He really wants a conviction at all costs. <laughs> she could give a yokai a run for its money when she's mad. <laughs> yes, well, I have him writing a self reflective essay as we speak. I doubt that'll teach him anything. Yeah, he'll probably just write. Dotard a thousand times. That whole yokai business is most likely a play to win a conviction. Truth is, Prosecutor Blackwell believes Jinxie Tinma planted that yokai stuff. Planted it in an effort to protect her father, the real killer. Yeah, right. I like to see him prove it. Whoa! Calm down there, Missy! He doesn't have any direct evidence, but we did find this! It was at the base of a cliff, just outside M Kyuubi Manor! Wait, that isn't the staff Tenmataro was supposedly carrying, is it? The one and only! Miss Tenma no doubt tossed it over the cliff when she was done! No way! W well, what about Prince? Nope! No Prince! But if she was wearing a costume, there wouldn't be any anyway! Well, Prince or no Prince, it's not going to work in our favor. Sounds like the staff might have belonged to the mansion. But if that's the case... Then where in the mansion did Tinmataro get it from? Okay, about the Amazing Nine Tails. Did Prosecutor Blackwill figure out that the victim was the Amazing Nine Tails? He did indeed! He's a sharp one! Alright, as sharp as a blade! He figured it out while investigating the municipal merger and the victim's past. The amazing Ninetales sparked the yokai craze and worked against the merger! And Mayor Damien Tenma is the corrupt politician who murdered that great hero! The amazing Ninetales fans are so angry they even tried to storm the detention center! I don't blame them. I mean, their favorite master wrestling hero was murdered. They must have been shocked when they found out what happened. Speaking of which, isn't Jinxie also a fan of the Amazing Nine Tails? A wrestler's mask is more precious than his own life. He'd never unmask himself in front of others. But there are matches where wrestling... Wrestlers battle for the right to remove each other's masks. To have your mask torn off is the worst humiliation a wrestler could suffer. That's why their masks are more important to them than life itself. She spoke with a passion that only a fan could appreciate. We ought to, we ought to become fans ourselves and go protest in front of the prison. Seriously? What? No! D 
Did you forget that Mayor Tenma is not only Jinxie's father, but our client? Oh, yeah. You be careful now. You're defending the most hated mayor in history. I just hope you don't find yourself on the wrong end of a figure for leg lock. Maybe I should wear a mask to hide my identity. Are there any other new developments we should know? Hmm, now that you mention it, our suspect is suffering partial memory loss. But he did manage to remember something. He did? W what did he say? He said he didn't want to speak with us. His exact words were, I am under no obligation to speak with you mortals. Oh boy. And other things that of that nature. I wonder what Mayor Tinma remembered. Too bad you can't go ask him now, because Prosecutor Blackwell's qu busy questioning him. I know! Why don't you wait down at the playground with the rest of the kids? <laughs> what? What now, Apollo? While Mr. Funnybones over there is laughing to himself. How about regrouping back at the agency? Good idea. We might get some words of wisdom out of Mr. Wright while we're there. Bye, Mr. Funny Bones. Mr. Funny Bright. Okay, uh... Maybe I'll go read over some past cases. And I'll... Go do some research on exorcisms. Hey, what's with you guys? You seem bummed out. How should I put this? It's like we're at the edge of a cliff, and the only way is down. In other words, business as usual, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Except this time, it's like we're bound and gagged, too. Don't forget blindfolded with our ears plugged up. Oh, and monsters at every turn, huh? Sounds rough. Hey, Apollo. Oh, and Athena's here, too. Mr. Wright! How goes the investigation, Apollo? Athena? I think it's safe to say that things have gotten hairier than before. Really? What happened? Um... <laughs> I want to do it. I just want to do it. I want to see what he says. You see this, Phoenix? Your attorney's badge, huh? I used to show mine to everyone, too. Yeah, do you still have one? No, I'm not going to be that. I'm not going to be that harsh to... Phoenix. I mean, he does get it in the episode before, but he doesn't have it right now. Why? I mean, I do it too, but I don't know why I do it. But do you know why you did it? You know, I never act really thought about it. But I could ask you the same question. Yeah, I don't know either. Me? Well, I guess you could say I show it because there's someone to show it to. Exactly. Or something like that. <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds kind of... I don't know. Philosophical? No, not philo... Philosophical. <laughs> I guess it does. Or does it? Okay. <clears throat> Our defense. Our case! I was watching the two of you this morning from the gallery. That was one tough day in court, to say the least. <laughs> that face! I know, I've never had to defend a yokai before. That business about the locked room 
was another major hurdle, too. Yeah, and on top of that, Jinxie was accused of being an accomplice. But at least you figured out how someone could have escaped the Forbidden Chamber. Yeah, well, we just found out that our reasoning might be a tad flawed. Oh, really? Well, that's bad news. How are we going to get out of this one? The worst times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. Force? A smile? Yeah, my mentor taught me that back when I was still learning the trade. She also taught me to return the, to, ba to the basics whenever I got stuck. Return to the basics? That's right. Always believe in your client, no matter what happens. That is a lawyer's greatest and most trusted weapon. The basics. Always believe in your client, huh? You and Athena. Like, so Mr. Wright, how long have you known Athena? I met her during a trip to Europe. Huh? Y you were in Europe? Why haven't I heard about this before? Yeah, I went there a few times to study the various legal systems over there. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, wait a minute. I thought you worked as a pianist, pianist after you quit practicing law. I did, but an old friend of mine needed help with some legal work from time to time. So... Oh, I guess you were never very far from the courtroom then. It was like fate brought us together! It's thanks to Mr. Wright that I became a lawyer after all. Or at all, yeah. <laughs> I knew she was lawyer material from the moment I met her. And I have high hopes for her ability to analyze people's emotions. Aww, it's nothing special. <laughs> hmm, maybe I've underestimated that an analytical psychology of hers. It's just, I thought that if my special ability could help defend innocent people, then I had to do everything in my power to bring it to the courtroom. That's when I really started hitting the books. Hard. I'm still amazed she actually became a lawyer. And at the tender age of 18, no less. Wow. That's almost superhuman. Or personal, like, she trying to help somebody she knows. Alright, I'm totally pumped after... I'm totally pumped up after all... After talking to you, Mr. Wright. It's like you said, the worst times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. And don't forget to return to the basics whenever you get stuck. Keep believing in my client. Right. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? I'm... I'm going to visit our client again. I think that's a good idea. Alright, time to see what's new down at the detention center. Pretty sure Black Quill's done uh, interrogating. <laughs>